<laughs> Good morning, fine people with interwebs. I am at the shop. Going to do some more shop setup stuff today. I decided to drive Mr. Dose because I haven't taken him out in quite a while. I miss driving that thing. So they've been working on the booth yesterday. I wasn't here and they managed to get the fan up on top and the front doors are now on and Jeff is coming to do Jeff things. Hey BBs. Hi. Somebody just got their claws clipped and he's happy about it. This dog has taken a liking to me. He pretty much follows me around when I'm here. Hey baby. Are you cute? You're cute. Just to take the tension off of it because then it will stop like squeezing everywhere. Are you talking about cock? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna do all the seams like that, get them all sealed up, and then the seam along the floor. Are you gonna put the lights up today too? Maybe. Your cock stripping. <laughs> 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 to the way the lighting was set up in my garage at my house so I'm trying to replicate that in here with where I'm positioning the lights as you can see I got it over there on the side and it's really hard to stick it to this insulation stuff the adhesive I used actually isn't working and two of the lights fell off overnight but I figured out a different way of doing it over here on the back wall what I'm doing is I'm actually using the little clips that come with these lights and I'm putting 3M double adhesive between that and the steel beam because I can't drill into these because there's a girder behind it. So there's no way I'm going to get a little self-tapping screw all the way through a huge thick I-beam. That and this isn't my building so the less holes I have to put in things the less holes I have to fix when we eventually move out of it. I like the lighting that it gives off inside here though. It's gonna be really good for working on cars. Especially at this height, this is perfect for working on stuff down the ground. And then back here where I have the lifts, that will actually be at the height of a car on the lift pretty much. So that will really help out there too. I actually did the same thing over here on the sides and surprisingly enough, I don't have to use a lot of this adhesive. I just put it on the little hook and that's enough to keep this light from falling. I spotted a wild Celine. Liz came out here to visit not even two weeks after just being here because it started to snow and she didn't want to deal with cold weather anymore. I'm going to have a snowstorm <laughs> on Wednesday. I will be there. I'm in Arizona. Yeah, but the joke's on you because it's 50 degrees out today. Guess what, but we're in a C8, baby, so what's up? <laughs> it is kind of lucky I had this this week. I could have had like, I don't know. We could have had a Prius. I could have had a leaf. I literally don't think I've ever done this before, but I'm in my pajamas on a YouTube video. Liz and I are going to watch a movie. This is a vlog video, so I figured I would just capture what's happening when I usually don't film. She knows her way around the house so well. Now she just like instantly gets cozy, gets in pajamas, and like, I'm in my chair. I belong here now. This is my chair. Every time I come, I just, I could sleep here. I don't know why I haven't tried to sleep in this one chair. My sister Celine has never seen the movie Friday because she was born in the year 2000. So we're gonna watch Friday. Now people are gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> I don't have the socks. You don't need to worry about people thinking you're crazy when I literally have a frog riding a pig in my living room. <laughs> it has a crown. It is, I thought it was kind of Minecrafty, so I was like, yeah, a frog could ride a pig maybe. Hello, good morning. It's another day in this video, and right now, my lifts are about to get delivered. We're gonna start setting them up. Liz, you have to be freezing. It's better than New Jersey. That's true. Baby Jeff! No. Hi, buddy! Jeff Hi! Is an elderly man. Yeah. He's a respectable He's elderly old man. And salty. What? <laughs> He's a baby. It's a what? He's a baby, Jeff. Hi, honey. Hello. Jeff is the ultimate warlock. Hi, honey. He's a warlock? 
Welcome back. I had no idea the whole entire back of these trucks sandwich in like that. That is so cool. They're not gonna install the lifts today. He's just dropping them off and then next week they're actually gonna get installed. Is there one on the other side of that? Correct, there's two next to each other. Teeter tot. Oh, geez. Bro, what? My poor baby. I haven't driven the TT in at least a year now, and it's time I move it over to the shop. So I gotta let this thing charge up for a second on the Forester because it's clearly got a dead battery. The battery's junk that's in here. I need a new battery anyway. It's gonna be interesting because one of us is gonna have to drive either the Forester or this to the shop with a bad dual mass flywheel, so it makes a huge racket. All right, teeter tot. God, this thing is covered in so much grossness. Start, teeter tot. Start, come on, teeter tot. All right, ready? Almost. It's a broken teeter tot. It's pissed off at me, but it's a good teeter tot. so bad driving this thing like this this poor thing it makes me sad I will fix this car right I will do this car right Hopefully this one lasts longer than the old one did. The, only, the old battery only lasted two and a half years. Granted, it sat in storage for a year and didn't run, so that's probably why it didn't help. Pull this guy off here. I shall give you life again, car. Good to go. Should be good now. I'm still gonna put my foot on the brake because I don't trust it. Yeah, yeah, it starts now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check the alternator on it too, make sure the alternator still charges because I know that battery was really bad, but it didn't even charge at all on the drive over here, so. The guys have a fridge over on their side in the office, but that's kind of a long walk and I drink really weird water, so I figured I'd just get a little fridge over here. And also if I wanna like bring a lunch or something and it stinks and I have weird gross food, like, cause I'm into eating weird foods, then I'll stick it over here. It's so adorable. This is this little itty bitty refrigerator. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's so cute. That's like the perfect size to put some snacks in there. I don't know why this why is there tape? I haven't seen this kind of tape in forever. I remember this stuff when I was a kid. I thought this tape just like didn't exist anymore. So question is, it's small enough that it actually fits on my shelf. I don't know if I'll keep it here because I can see the door getting smashed since it's glass. But it's tiny, it fits anywhere. It's hard to pre-plan where I want to put stuff in here because even this corner over here, like all the stuff that I set up over there is going to get moved. I'm not keeping stuff where it's positioned in here. I don't have anywhere to sit over here, so I definitely need to get some kind of seating. Obviously I need a workbench. I don't have a workbench yet either. And I want to put my little refrigerator under a workbench. So I don't, I just got to get more, more furniture, I guess. The lifts are getting set up next week. So once the lifts are in place, 
I'll bring my tools over here and I'll have a better idea of where I'm gonna position stuff. And I got a contractor today to look at the wall situation. So the same contractors that are gonna be doing the wiring for these lifts, they gotta drop down 220 from the ceiling for each lift. They actually also do construction work too. So they are going to give me a quote for framing up the wall using steel studs or aluminum. I don't know if they use aluminum or steel metal studs. And then it's gonna have soundboard and sheetrock. So that way it's a nice sound barrier and it's gonna be insulated and it's gonna have outlets and a door to go through. I'm kind of like not looking forward to how expensive that part's going to be, but I saved money on getting Bend Pack to sponsor these two lifts. I'll have more on that once they come to actually do the setup of them because they're gonna be installing the lifts as well. So uh, thank you also Bend Pack for sponsoring these guys. I don't know what they look like yet. They're both 9,000 pound lifts, but other than that, I can't really tell much more about what they look like other than they're black and they say Grand Prix. I really don't enjoy the fact that you have all these penguins in your house because that scared the sh out of me last night. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up for like half a second and I was like, <gasps> this, this is such a weird video for me to make. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's the end of the year almost, so I don't know. Once this shop is fully set up, stuff will go back to normal. My tree, on the other hand, might not because it only has lights on it and I don't think I'm gonna finish decorating the rest of it. Why are you hiding? I don't, I'm not wearing makeup. It looks like you are. You just don't have eyeliner on or a winged eye. That's the only thing that's different. I refuse to show your people my face without makeup. You literally just made a YouTube video like a couple days ago with no makeup on. But those are my McNuggets. Anyway, I got a, a car view coming up for you guys that you're obviously pretty excited about, that C8 Corvette. And I'll do probably a bloopers video for the end of the year as well. And maybe something car related for all my car views. I think I should do something like that, like a year-end video about like the best and worst cars I've reviewed or something. I don't know, give me some suggestions down below in the comment section. Something like a year-end type of video that has to do with car views. If you want to see that, if not, then maybe not, but I don't know. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!